Hey guys, Chris here. Um, today I'm gonna be making a video on just it, just kind of a little story. Just uh, reminding you guys to always, um, always make sure that you actually, if you're gonna buy something, make sure that you really need it. Um, I don't know if if I'm just noticing this because I'm around myself 24 hours a day. Um, seven whole days a week, 365 days a year. Um, but, um, I, <laughs> I might sound a little nasal in this video because I do have a cold. How I got this cold, I have no idea. Um, a lot of people, <laughs> what I've been noticing is that they have been claiming that they just have really bad allergies, um, in lieu of, uh, actually saying that they have a cold. So, um, it could be that. I mean, and, you know, I, I work in a customer service kind of job, you know, I'm at the UPS store, so I see tons of people a day. Um, I'm actually surprised it took me this long to get sick again, because um, the last time I got sick was actually late December. But that was because I was hanging out with my friend, and he... And it was, it was like four of us, but the one, the one friend, he was like, oh, by the way, I'm coming off of a cold right now. I'm like, you're kidding, right? You couldn't have, we couldn't have done this a week later. But, the, you know, and another thing is, I've actually been kind of trying to build up my immunity. Not that I have a terrible immune system. It's just, I'd like to have a better one. I'd like to have a very good one. Um, I've been taking cold showers, which... Actually, once you start doing it is f ugh, it's cool. Like you get in there and there's like an, for me, there's like an involuntary uh, response where I just, you know, you know, I'm sure someone, <laughs> um, other people in my family, they just hear that and they're like, what the hell is he doing in there? But it's good, you know, it's, it's supposed to boost your immunity a little. It's supposed to be really good for your skin and it is good for your skin. Uh, I've not been itchy at all. It could be because it's been incredibly humid too, but um, I've not really been that itchy. Um, what else is it good for? It's good for your uh, parents' water bill, or your, your parents' gas bill, I should say. Um, it's good for your hair. It's really good for your hair, you know, because, and you can you can tell this, or I can tell it at least, because when I used to take hot showers and I would, you know, brush my hair at the end of the shower, um, it would feel like nothing was happening. But now whenever I do that, whenever I brush my hair at the end, it's like, ow. And I was doing some research and the reason that it's like, ow, what the heck? Well, first off, I use kind of a, not a spike here, but, um, you know, it's like a plastic kind of brush, but that really doesn't have much to do with it. But apparently what that is, is when there's hot water on your hair, it kind of opens up the, uh, the area around the hair follicle, or kind of swells it up a little, which is what protects against the feeling that you have a brush ripping into your scalp. Um, so yeah, if, if any of you start uh, cold shower and just realize it's completely normal for it to like hurt to brush your hair if you have to brush your hair I mean I my hair is getting a little bit longer now so I I do have to brush it in the shower but um <coughs> um what the hell else was I going to talk about yeah um anyway the main point of this video was the other day well I shouldn't say the other day I want me to drink a water real quick the other day, or for the past, for the past few months, I'd say, like, I don't know, around, uh, the start of the winter, maybe, you know, and obviously through up until a week or two ago, my windows in my car, they would, uh, only work sometimes, and it, it was kind of, it was, you wouldn't really know when, it would, you know, I'd push it down, and, um, it would work most of the time, but other times it wouldn't, and, I don't, most people's cars nowadays are like this, but you'll have at least the driver's window switch. It's like you flick it down once and it automatically goes down. You don't have to hold it all the way down. And that just wouldn't, wouldn't work sometimes. Like sometimes it would go automatically down, but for the most part, I'd have to hold it the whole way down. 
And it, was, it wasn't a bother, it was just kind of like, okay, what the heck, can these windows work already? And um, about two months ago, it started getting really bad. Like, sometimes it just wouldn't work at all. And it doesn't help that my car's AC doesn't work either, so I would just bake in there until my windows would start, would start working. But eventually I decided to kind of look into it. This was a couple weeks ago. And um, what I realized was it's probably the... Because it wouldn't be the pulley that pulls the window down, because when it does roll down, it rolls down just fine. It doesn't take 10 hours to roll down or up, you know? Um, so I figured it was the switch, and I bought a new... I can show you guys actually what I bought. Um, I bought a new uh, window switch set. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Like, you just have to flick this one down, but all these ones you have to hold down. And then you have your, you know, your child lock, and then normal lock, unlock. Um, but anyway, I bought one of these things, thinking that when it got here, I would just take the door apart and put this new one in. But I'm stupid, and I'm really impatient, and I'm impulsive. So one night, I was like, I'm going to do this now. <laughs> so I got to work on it. I took off my door panel. Not as hard as I thought it would be, because apparently everything Honda, well, I guess everything modern cars do now is it's just, it's all clips. Everything's just like a, a clip. And there's like a couple... Uh, a couple bolts and screws sometimes, but it's mostly clips, especially with your interior. Um, and I, I took it off and I was looking at it and there's this little, there's something that plugs into here. Like that you can see, this is the, the power unit, right? This is what powers it all when, when something's plugged into it. Um, the plug that goes into that though, it, it was in, but there's like a little pin on it. There's like a locking pin and that pin was like halfway open. I'm like, you're telling me that this was literally just a pin that was just like not, not all the way in. I bought this thing. I bought this $25 piece of junk for, for me to only realize that I just had to flick this pin back into place. I did that, and sure enough, it works like brand new. You know, you can roll the one window, you can roll the driver's side window down in one touch, and it, and it, uh, now, the, my way of testing it was, in, uh, in my car, when you turn on your headlights, like, this little thing will, like, illuminate. And it illuminated, and it was, like, it was perfectly fine. So I was like, all right, whatever. Luckily, thank God, I can return this thing. I bought it off eBay. I don't shop with Amazon. I can't stand Amazon. They're wrecking the world. It's a ruthless industry that they've created. Um, but uh, that's a whole different video. Um, but with this, I can return it, thank God. And it's it's free. But just kind of a little reminder to always <laughs> always make sure if you if you actually need a new part. Or that just goes for anything. Like, make sure you actually need something before doing it um that's pretty much it you know i i know i haven't been really uploading regularly the last thing i uploaded was what more than a month ago at this point it's not it's not even like i have a lot of school or work i mean i am working more i'm working five to six days a week at four to six hours a day so i'm working in anywhere but like on average like 23 hours a week which isn't a stupid amount so i really have no excuse for for not making videos as much but I'm sick as a mofo right now so I might just go sit back on my bed like I've been doing all day uh you know conserve energy eat a bunch of food I got an apple right here I'm working on you know apples are good for you you know um but yeah I will I will see you guys in the next video